The next thing we want to talk about is songwriting. A lot of people think, think to write songs, you have to be this really advanced guitar player or uh, have played for you know a number of years, but it's really, you can use the, you know, the four chords that we already know and just find some kind of lyrics to put together, and obviously that forms a song. There's different ways to write songs. Um, I'm going to give you examples of each. One of the ways is to find a catchy phrase or something that sticks in your mind and then put chords to it. For example, I was watching the news one day and they was talking about um, all the terrorism and all the stuff going on in the world. And I thought to myself, man, God, how do people even make it uh, if they don't have you in their life? Well, immediately that targeted me to, okay, I want to write a song about it. So I sat down with that in mind. How do people even make it without God? And I put these lyrics to it. You give comfort, you give peace. This world can never bring. How do they make it without you? You put a song. So again, that's when I just thought of a phrase and put those chords were C, D, E minor. So you can play those as long as you keep the rhythm the same, whether you pick each note or you strum, you can go between those chords are all in a set of chords. That's a key of a song. The G, C, E minor, D make up a key of a song. So as long as you keep those, you're playing within those chords, you can write songs. Another way is um, I saw on TV, I, again, this is the ideal method where they were showing all these things you need for the summer. And I thought, you know, Lord, I don't need a thing but you. And I thought, what? That's a song. So I went and put the cable in different places. Right now I got in the second fret. But I thought, I don't need a thing but you, Lord. I don't need See, I'm just going between the G, C, E minor, G, C, D. So that's the first method. Think of a phrase or some catchy thought and put chords to it. Another way is I'll just be sitting with a guitar, going back and forth between my chords. And then it'll hit me, man, I need to put, um, try to think of some lyrics to go along, you know, with the chord pattern. And you think that you have to have all these great poetic words and phrases in order to make a good song. Sometimes the best praise and worship is just very simple. So going back to the... Um, the G, C, D, and E minor. Like I just sat down and grabbed the guitar and thought, Jesus, we come.
and you can see there, I just sat down and just started going back and forth between a few chords and then thought, hmm, I'll put some words to it and try to sing in key. So there's you a couple methods. You can first think, find a catchy phrase that kind of sticks with you, then go put some chords with the phrase, add some things to it, or you can just get a strumming pattern down and then think of any kind of praise and worship uh, lyrics or it can be something you read in a book, something you read in the Bible, um, and just put it to the chords.